guys, what's up? How was your Monday? How was your weekend? Tell me all about it down there. So, um, this week's video, I'm going to be doing, like, uh, tips and, like, how-tos and then, like, just things that, for your braces. Because, um, for those of you who haven't noticed or just don't know because you're, like, new to subscribing to me, I got my braces off about three weeks ago now. See? Uh, they're kind of yellow right now. Blame the lighting. But anyways, um, one of my viewers wanted me to do just like a, you know, how to keep your teeth clean, you know, tips for, you know, how to eat when you have braces kind of thing. Because honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, it might just be me, but when I had braces, everything on the face of the planet was hard to eat. Like even ice cream or yogurt. Not because of the yogurt, because of the spoon. It would just get, it would just cling around in there and it was just awesome. I love braces. But, um, so I guess, uh, to start off, I'm just gonna say, like, you know, I have my braces on for a year and five months, a year and six months. Definitely when you're eating, they tell you, like, you know what, they give you, like, a list of, like, you know, don't eat this. And most of those, I probably broke the rules and eat. Like, you know, I chewed gum when I had braces. I had popcorn when I had braces. And, um, they tell you, like, not to eat, you know, chewy candies. Honestly, I stuck to that because I think one time I had caramel or caramel or whatever, and it took forever to get out of my teeth. So honestly, I would not, you know, go back on that. I would definitely, you know, stay away from caramel, stay away from like Laffy Taffy, stay away from Tootsie Rolls, because those are actually really, really hard to eat when you have braces. And another thing I tell you to do is, you know, don't eat like a whole apple, because those will pop off your brackets. I was terrified to pop off any of my brackets. So what I would do is like, I would still eat apples, but I would just slice them up first, which wasn't hard to do, because we have an apple slicer just for that. And then another thing I tell you not to eat is carrot sticks. I don't like carrots in general anyways, but even then the one time, I think one time, you know, I was like, oh, I want carrots, and I just kind of like forgot about the whole like don't eat carrots thing, and I started to eat it, and you can like feel it as it's like, as it's, like the carrots snapping in half, you can feel the pressure on your braces, and it scares me, because I'm like, I don't want to do that, because like a lot of my friends, their brackets will pop off like all the time, and I'm like, mine never, like I never had a problem with my braces ever, so I was like, I don't know like, what that was all about. But that's one thing, like definitely like when they tell you like not to eat something, they're not just saying that to like ruin the fun or whatever. Like they're serious. Like things like the like, popcorn or gum or whatever, that's not a big deal. It'll just get stuck up there and it takes over to get out. But things like, you know, apples and chewy candies, that honestly is just stay away from that. And then another thing is, um, I'm not completely sure what they're called, but they this one is used, so I'm not gonna have to live. But they give you these little bristle thingies and what you do is like when you have braces on, you shove them up in between each individual bracket or wire spot. Between each bracket, yeah. And it gets all the food out. This thing works so well. It's basically just floss, but it's just like for between each bracket. Um, if they don't give you, you know, one or two of these, I would definitely go to Walmart or like your local like drugstore or whatever and try to get one of these. Because they come in packages of three or four, I want to say. And they work amazingly well. I have this one. This is like down in my room. I have one up in my bathroom. I still have them because I haven't thrown them away yet. But they work extremely well. And I totally recommend you getting one or, you know, five. And just keeping one in like, you know, one at school, one at home, one in your purse. Because they are amazing. And if you get cheese, because cheese, string cheese gets stuck up in your rices all the time. And it sucks. <laughs> And then another thing is, uh, it's just more of a personal experience for me because, but the day that I got braces, I had to go get four teeth pulled first. I had to get like the four teeth that are right here. I think they, I'm not sure if they were my canine teeth or the ones behind. I have no idea because they don't tell you those kind of things. But I had to go get my four teeth pulled at eight o'clock in the morning, and then an hour later, I went to the orthodontist and got my top braces and my bottom braces. So for an entire week, my mouth was on fire and just in this intense pain because it was just like one thing after another. And so like I was just like gnawing on a washcloth because tip to you when you get braces is it's just this weird like itching burning pain and if you're like chewing on something like ice or a washcloth or just something solid and it, I don't know why it just helps to chew like like that I don't know why but you know smoothies and yogurt definitely like if you're like the um, one like after you get out of the orthodontist appointment that day go to Dairy Queen and get yourself a smoothie or frozen hot chocolate or ice cream because that's like literally the only thing you can eat after an orthodontist appointment is something like not solid. I'm not even joking. Like you might want a hamburger, but you can't chew it because it will physically hurt to eat the hamburger for at least, you know, an hour or two. But most of the time, after that hour or two have passed, you're, you're fine again. Like after the teeth tightening or after they tighten your um, wires, you're fine after a couple hours. It's just like in the moment it hurts. So it's just like you're not like having braces doesn't mean that you're in a constant pain. Like honestly, half the time I forgot that I had braces, but then I'd go and eat something and it gets stuck in my teeth. 
So the only time it ever hurt was, you know, the day of an orthodontist appointment or, you know, getting my braces on itself. So if you're the one, if you, you know, get your top braces on and then a week later get your brace, bottom braces on, you'll be fine. It's not going to hurt that bad. But for me, it was just like one thing after another. So like my mouth hurt for, you know, a week. But, you know, it just depends on the person. It depends on, you know, how quickly you get your braces, how serious they want to like, or how aggressive they want to be on your mouth. Because some people, you know, have like a gap in their front and need to close the gap. And then like for me, like my bottom teeth were just all out of, they were just in a zigzaggy, weird place and there just wasn't enough room in my mouth for my teeth kind of thing. So it's just like, I don't know how to explain that. Like if you need a revans or a headgear, it just all depends on like your mouth and your teeth and just how much they want to change your mouth or how fast it's going to take or how long it's going to take. Because some people, I had a friend who they had braces for four, four and a half years before they got their braces off. I barely, I didn't, I didn't even have my mouth for two years. I had mine for, you know, a year and some months like I said before. So, you know, it just depends on the mouth. And I really hope this helps you in some way. I'm not, like, by any means a professional or whatever. I didn't even have the mouth for that long. So, I really hope this, you know, video helped you. And if anyone has any questions about it, you know, go ahead and leave uh, questions down below in the comment section. Or, you know, give me a video response. I would love to respond to you. Um, let me give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, subscribe to me on the page, comment down below any video suggestions or questions that you have for me or, you know, anything in general because I love talking to you guys and I'm, yeah. That's it, guys. I will see your beautiful faces next week. I was like, oh, oh, I have, um, I can't tell you everything yet, but I'm really excited for something um, my friends are going to be doing soon. In, the, in these next two weeks, in September, we're going to start doing this thing, and I'm really excited to, to tell you guys about it, but I can't give you all the information yet, because it's kind of like, not secret still, but it's not all set in stone, but I'm really excited, and it involves videos, and my friends, and I'm really excited, so yeah, I'll see you guys next week, and I cannot wait to tell you, and I love your faces.